guys, what is up? And welcome to yet another FIFA 17 experiment. So, in this experiment, we are seeing can the La Liga All Stars who have placed on Sevilla win the treble? So, this is a star packed team, and I chose Sevilla as the team for that, for this experiment to be done with. So, we are going to bring Sevilla into the Premier League. That is right. So, I want to test them in the best, most competitive overall league. And that is, of course, the Premier Either way, so we're going to be putting uh, Sevilla in the Champions League. Obviously, we're going to have to take out Spurs. Sorry. But, um, yeah, so Sunderland, we're actually going to be in... Uh, our place, and uh, I'm not putting Sunderland in the Champions League. I'm just, just sorry. Just no, that's definitely not gonna happen next year, given they got relegated. But yeah, either way, they're gonna go in, and finally, this time, doing it properly. So really looking forward to this experiment. So something quite unique here. So I made sure, obviously, you got the big names: the Messi, the Ronaldo, the Bales, and the Neymar. However, the key is, I also brought in about three talented youngsters just to mix things up, because whenever you do these sort of experiments, you always think of, like I said, the Messi's and the Ronaldo's. But I thought at least to highlight three uh, youngsters in La Liga who have performed pretty solidly for their age. So I am pretty much assured, I think, that this La Liga All-Stars team can win the Premier League, no doubt in my mind. The question is though, are they going to be able to come up clutch and win the Champions League? That to me is the real question. So obviously, you maybe maybe you will be saying a surprise winner in La Liga given their depth has been tanked a little bit there. However, let's see how this experiment goes. And so if you guys are into this sort of content, uh, feel free to subscribe. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the previous experiment where I saw if a FIFA 8 Ryan Giggs could lead uh, Man U to glory. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, skip off the video. But if you have, obviously, as you know, it didn't go too amazing. So hopefully this experiment can go better. And I will show you the team in a minute. So this is the full team rate. Okay, this is a 3-4-2-1. With Suarez, Griezmann, and Messi in the attacking three. Then you have Bale and Neymar as more attacking midfields. Rakitic and Modric in the midfield. Godin... Ramos and PK in the back alongside O Block and Goal. In terms of bench, this is what I mean in terms of opportunity. We've got Benzema, Rodriguez, Cruz, Imeric Laporte, Abdel Rami, Carrasco, Ter Stegen. And then in terms of reserves, Isco, Pepe, who's going to go back in here, Marcelo. So the two youngsters I wanted to include in the squad were Teo Hernandez and Mauricio Lemos. Yep, this is the squad. A pretty beastly team, I have to admit. Uh, looking forward very much to seeing how this team can do. And yeah, to be honest with you, I expect the treble, because this team is just amazing. So, And there's so much room for it to, to grow. I will now simulate to January, and I will see you there. We're into January now. And as you can see, it's been quite a successful season for Sevilla. Currently top of the league. And doing very well. Two point lead on Arsenal at the top of the table. In terms of the EFL Cup, am I like the only one that literally... Did we lose to like a League One opposition? I don't know what it is with this game. But the teams always lose in the EFL Cup. So obviously we did indeed make it into the Champions League round 16. And we have to face Juventus. So not exactly very good luck there. But yeah, we are facing Juventus. That's going to be a very, very tough challenge there. 
Uh, PSG probably got the luckiest of the lot. They're playing PSV Eindhoven, so that is a huge... That could be a really big challenge against Juventus. And, uh, yeah, so... Pretty good season so far. In terms of the taking a look at the squad. So... Jan Oblak has only started three games. Okay, what the heck? Um, Diego Godin has only started eight games. So I guess there's a lot of rotation. Sergio Ramos has probably started the most games out of the back line. Six clean sheets, 14 games. Jared Pique also hasn't played very much. Gareth Bale's only played six games. Luka Modric, six. Tony Cruz, three. Neymar, five. Messi's only played tw Messi's played 20 games. Ronaldo's played 18 games. Suarez has played probably the most games. Uh, 8 goals and 9 assists, 25 games. That's pretty good. Uh, Americ Laporte's barely played. Yannick Carrasco's got 2 goals in 7 Premier League games. Hamas Rodriguez, 2 goals in 7. Antoine Griezmann, 1 goal and 2 assists in 7. Kaylor Navas has started 14 Premier League games, 8 clean sheets, so he's been very good there. Marcello's barely played. Rakitic barely played. Trusagan hasn't even played. And all the Sevilla players are playing. Oh. Okay, so Carrico has got four Premier League appearances. And Zanzi, 24 appearances, uh, seven clean sheets. Uh, a couple of youth players. Teo Hernandez hasn't played at all. Mauricio Lemos played 16 games. Eight clean sheets, so he's been pretty good. Uh, John Morulli, two games. Franco Vasquez is pretty decent. Vieto hasn't played. Rico hasn't played. Vitola's played two games. Ben Yedder's played seven. Sarabia's played a lot of games there. Isco's played no games. Gonzo's played seven games. Uh, man, these Sevilla players are actually getting way more time than I meant. Um, yeah, we're going to have to see uh, about some of the rotation here. But, uh, yeah, that's the team. And uh, we will simulate to January, I mean June. And I will see you there. So now we have reached June, and well, as you guessed, as you likely guessed, they've made it into the Champions League final, playing against Sporting Club de Portugal in the final with a beastly starting lineup. Can Sevilla grab the victory and a huge get a huge victory? So 32 minutes in, not too much has occurred. We're nearing half time. No score. It's into the 60th minute. Multiple substitutions. Neymar has put it in. 65th minute for Sevilla. 80th minute now. Getting close to the finish. 90th minute, and that is it. Sevilla win the Champions League with the Spanish All Stars. In addition, we also won the league. One point ahead of Chelsea. Chelsea had the most goals scored, but they also conceded nine more goals than us, and that was likely the difference. So 22 wins, 11 draws, five losses there. And in terms of the FA Cup, Sevilla also managed to win that, 2-0 versus Liverpool. And to complete the to complete the treble, winning the Champions League. So in terms of the round to get to the final, 4-3 over Juventus over two legs, then 2-1 over Bayern Munich over two legs, and then 5-2 thrashing of Bayer Leverkusen, and obviously in the final, 1-0 victory over Sporting Club de Portugal. So we did lose in the AFL Cup, but it seems like the AI doesn't know what to do with the smaller cups. So either way, Jan Oblak got into a few more games, was solid there. Diego Godin gotten to pretty much all the Champions League games, but there's seemingly a lot of rotation. Sergio Ramos, 10 clean sheets, 31 appearances. Gerard Piquet, 24 games, so he didn't play as much as the others. Gareth Bale was starting to play some more games, but then proceeded to get like a multiple month injury, so he only played 10 games all season. Luka Modric, 21 games, 1 goal, 2 assists. Tony Cruz got into 30 games this season, 4 goals, 2 assists. Neymar, managed to score one goal all season but he did win the Champions League Messi probably was the one who came up with the most clutch 44 games 15 goals 9 assists Ronaldo 15 goals 5 assists in the Prem 18 goals and 9 assists overall Luis Suarez 
22 goals, 11 assists, so I have to take that back with Messi. Isco got into 12 games in the end. Antoine Griezmann got into 23 games, so pretty much like 20 over the second half of the season. Kaylor Navas got into 24 games, 11 clean sheets. Marcelo, 5 games, nothing really happened there. Rakitic, goal in 10 Premier League games. Aymeric Laporte, 14 games, 3 clean sheets. Yannick Carrasco, 2 goals and an assist. A couple more youth players. Teo Hernandez didn't get a single game. Hopefully that doesn't happen to him in real life. Uh, Lemos. Lemos got a surprising amount of starts. 27 in total. 12 clean sheets. A couple more uh, Sevilla players. John Ruli got into 11 games. 2 clean sheets. Francisco Vasquez, uh, 2 goals, 2 assists in 17 games. Rico didn't play a minute at all. Ben Yedder, 24 games. Yeah kind of wish he didn't play as much because he was garbage. No goals, no assists. He was horrid. Sarabia played too much in my opinion, but decent stats, I'd have to say. Hamas Rodriguez, 24 games, 8 goals, 1 assist. That's solid. Stegen did not play a single game. Uh, Rami, 23 games, 9 clean sheets. Carlos Vea played 4 games all season. Benzema, 5 goals, 4 assists in 26 games. Pepe played 14, 6 clean sheets. Gonzo played once. And uh, I did loan out a few players, actually, to other teams because Sevilla players were playing so much that some of the bigger players, even if it didn't look like they played that much, the only reason why they played as much as they did was because those players were shipped on to other teams. In terms of loan player, Kana Plianka was solid. Ibora also got loaned out. Carico did too, alongside Cristo Foro. And, uh, yeah. So even if some of the big stars didn't play as much, it was still an incredible season. A trouble-winning season. And a pretty cool experiment, I'd have to say. Pat on the back. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be an experiment. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy these kind of experiments, feel free to subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.